Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here. Welcome back to Arkham Horror Cool Air. And here we are, turn 10. Uh, just a quick recap of turn 9. We have uh, Roland and Skids in Arkham Asylum. Uh, sort of hemmed in, they've got a moon beast in downtown. And poor old Charlie's even more hemmed in because he's got a hound of Tindalos in the Silver Twilight Lodge with him. And in St Mary's Hospital we have the uh, <coughs> newly rejuvenated Rita who's back up to full health. So what we'll do this turn is it's going to be Charlie first to go. He's, uh, he's back as the first player. So we'll go across to the player area and check out his upkeep in the upkeep phase. Here we are with Charlie. So first things first, let's uh, get ready to roll for his retainer. Once we've given him his $2, uh, what I'll do is take three back and give him a five. So he's got $6 and then we can roll for his retainer. Six, so he keeps his retainer another turn and what are we gonna do well we've got to get away from this hound of Tindalos he's got four clues I don't want to risk losing them so best thing I think is we'll try and give the hound of Tindalos the slip so we'll move his sneak up his speed down but his sneak up he's got a sneak of four now and he's still got one speed from his ally and two movement from the motorcycle which will be enough to get into the historical society and that's pretty much it for Charlie so let's move across to skids and here we are with skids right what we're going to do with skids well ideally I'd like to get into the curiosity shop um, have a look through see if we could possibly get an elder sign but failing that uh, an enchanted weapon to do that, he'll have to sneak past the Moon Beast. Uh, he's currently got four sneak, um, and he can re-roll that because he's got stealth as a skill. So I don't think uh, I don't think we'll change that. We'll keep that as it is, and let's see if he can get past that Moon Beast and to the Curiosity Shop. So I'm not going to change anything else. He hasn't got any bank loans or retainers to roll for, so we'll move straight on to Roland. Here we are with Roland who hasn't had the best of luck the past couple of turns. Um, first of all, as he only has two clue tokens, his intuitive ability, which if you remember because of he, he, he succeeded in his personal story, means that if he has fewer than four clue tokens he can gain one at the upkeep phase. So he's got two, so there we go, he gets another one. So he's up to three. Um, we've got some other upkeep because of his paranoia. Upkeep, loses one sanity if he's in the same area as another investigator. Unfortunately he is, he's in the same area as Skids. So he's got to give that back. So he's down to three due to his paranoia. And what are we going to do? Well, I think what we're going to do is... We are going, possibly, to stay at Arkham Asylum. Um, for I'm, I'm hoping that the actual Moon Beast might move. If it doesn't, then we'll have to think up something else. But Skids is going to move, which uh, means during the encounter phase we should be able to get the sanity back that um, he's just lost. And... Uh, He'll also get another clue token next upkeep phase because he's got three. And he's, uh, if he's got under four, he'll get another one. So it isn't a completely wasted turn if he stays at Arkham Asylum. So unless something else happens, which means we have to change plans, he's going to stay at the Arkham Asylum this turn. Right, let's have a look at Rita. And here we are with Rita. What I'm going to do with Rita is I think I'm going to send her up to the newspaper just to see if she can get a retainer 
uh, but also I want her quite close to skids um, we might be able to uh, swap some stuff around depending on what skids is able to buy um, so I just want to send her up towards north side uh, I want skids and uh, Rita to be pretty much the monster killers from here on in so um, possibly run them round as a bit of a double act right that's it for the upkeep phase let's go on to the movement phase here we are back at the main board and first of all it's Charlie Charlie and the Hound of Tinderloss now the Hound has got minus one on its awareness and Charlie has got a sneak of four so that means before minus one is three dice but he's also got a skill which is sneak which gives him plus one so he's going to go back up to four so he's got four dice to try and evade this horrendous hound of tinderloss so one two three four and let's see if he can manage it come on charlie no so what he's going to do is he's going to spend one of his clues which he's got four and he gets a six so he spends one clue which isn't too bad because there are two at the historical society so he spends one clue which puts it down to three so we could uh, so we could manage that evade and he goes one two three to the historical society and he picks up both those clues which puts him up to five so he does now have enough to seal a gate so that's charlie in the historical society right next up we have skids o'toole so i'll just uh I'll just home in on Skids and Roland up at Arkham Asylum. And here are Skids and Roland. And it's Skids first up. So what he's going to do, he's going to move one to downtown. And then he's going to attempt to move to north side. But in order to do that, again, he's having to do an evade check at plus naught. So let's check what his sneak is. His sneak is four. But he does have the stealth ability. So he can re-roll this should he fail Ooh. can we see that Ooh. oh come on yes that's in now and he gets two sixes so easily evades the moon beast the albino mole one two and he ends up at the curiosity shop right next up is roland roland's not going to move at all he's going to stay there so that's the end of roland's movement and next up is rita here we are with rita at the st mary's hospital she's got a speed of six so she's got six movement so one two three four five and she's going straight into the newspaper so that's the end of the movement phase so next up is the arkham encounter phase and here we are with charlie and he's at the historical society which is uh, south side which is the brown neighborhood so I'll shuffle up the location cards and see what we come out with. Historical Society. Pay a three pound fee to gain access to the private library. If you refuse, move to the street. If you pay, make a luck minus one check. Right. Well, I think we'll pay. I, I don't want to go out into the street because that'll mean we'll lose the stamina because of icy winds 
He's got six dollars, so put five in, get two change. That leaves him with three dollars. And he's got to make a luck minus one check. His luck is two. So he gets one dice. Just check he's got no other bonuses. Oh, he's got plus one luck from Richard Upton Pickman, his ally. So he's actually got two dice. So good job of checks. Right. Come on. A five. A success. Woohoo. Let's see. If you pass, you learn an ancient spell from a dusty ledger. Draw one, one spell. If you fail, you doze off and enter the dreamlands. Well, that doesn't happen. So we draw one spell. Get the spell deck. Here we are. And what do we get? Ooh, Wither, which isn't a bad one. Casting modifier plus no. Sanity cost is no. Any phase, cast an exhaust to gain plus three at combat checks until the end of the combat. Excellent. That's a good spell. We'll give that to Charlie. That's good news. Okay. Well done, Charlie. And that's the end of his encounter. So next up is Skids O'Toole at the Curiosity Shop. And here he is, Skids at the Curiosity Shop. Uh, well, he's flush with cash. He got uh, $16, I think, from uh, Rita the other turn. So, instead of having the encounter, he's going to draw three unique items. He could do with an Elder Sign. He says try to tempt fate in a good way. So, let's see what he gets. His first is... A Flute of the Outer Gods. Hang on, let me just check. I'm sure I got, I'm sure I got, I discarded that, unless there's two, I'm just, uh, just checking. Yes, my fault, I put it in the wrong pile, that's discarded. Yep, so forget that one, that one shouldn't have been in that pile, it should have been in the discard pile. Next up is a healing stone this is very good we may we may get that one if we don't get anything better so we've got a healing stone which would be eight dollars an elder sign that's what we're having and what was the other one the other one was the necronomicon so it's a pity the healing stone came out at the same time because that's very good but they go on the bottom discarded properly this time not like the flute of the outer gods and he's gonna pay five dollars for the elder sign you've already seen one of these we, we used and discarded one the other turn so that is a good bit of luck. And again, tempting, tempting fate has worked in our favour that time. So Skids can now close a gate. And Independent Square is looking very inviting. If he can get past the Moon Beast again, he can kill that cultist and go into the gate at Independent Square. So that's that's good, 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 good. Right. Next up is Roland. Roland hasn't moved and he did lose a sanity because he, uh, during his upkeep phase, he was next to Skids. However, at Arkham Asylum, you can either spend $2 in order to regain all your sanity, but he's not going to do that because 
you can also gain one sanity for free and he only needs one sanity to get him back up to four so that's what he's going to do he's going to get that single sanity back he's back to four sanity he's still only got one stamina though so he's still pretty weak uh, hopefully we'll be able to get past the moon beast or something and um, get him down to St Mary's Hospital uh, he might have to take on the um, the monster killing role now that Skids has got an elder sign right next up will be Rita at the newspaper there's Rita just behind Skids and um, it's north side so it's the orange location deck and we want a newspaper encounter you can see that if we focus editor Doyle Jeffries offers you a retainer in return for your fascinating stories take a retainer card yes so we get the retainer card back So she'll be able to get some money back next turn. She won't have to roll on the upkeep phase next turn because it'll be the first turn that she's uh, actually had the card. So we're guaranteed at least $4. So that's good, good news. Put the retainer back on her player area. Right, that's now the end of the Arkham Encounter phase. We've got nobody in the other world, so we'll skip the other world encounter phase. And it's straight on to the horrendous mythos phase. Here we are, back looking at the city of Arkham. Let's get the, the deck of funkiness and see, will we get a gate or will we get a monster surge? We get a gate at the unnameable which is a bit of a downer because it's got a clue token that will get destroyed but at least it's a new gate and not a surge if I had a pound for every time we'd have a monster surge in this game ooh, I'd have about four pound right well we get a gate it's the first thing before the clue gets destroyed is doom token on the doom track Ithaca's up to five five out of eleven so we're not quite halfway there get one of our funky monster stands take the clue but we'll keep it because there'll be an instruction on the card to put it somewhere else in fact let's have a look oh the clue goes to the woods which it won't because the woods has got a gate so clue goes back to the supply and we pick up the top gate which is this one we don't look at it because of my house rule and we put another doom token on top of the gate stack so we don't forget the doom token next time we draw a gate and we draw a monster because a gate's opened but we're full up so this is whatever we pull out is going to the outskirts because we've got seven monsters in Arkham will we get a different one a star vampire well we haven't seen one of them so, a star vampire. Ooh, three toughness. Nasty. But it's going to the outskirts. Which is good news for us. Right. Monster movement. Let's get rid of the, the deck. Just uh, concentrate on the card. Crescents move. We've got plenty of crescents. We've got at least two cultists there. Crescents. Here's one. So that'll go into uptown. This one, Independent Square, will go into downtown with the uh, Moon Beast, which is extremely annoying, seen as the very aware cultists. And we wanted to sneak past, we'll have to do some canny sneaking. Uh, any more? Any more with that symbol? No. No, no, it's just slashes and squares. The other symbol is a, a plus sign. So, nothing. Headline. Ghost ship docks by itself. An ancient ghost ship arrives in Arkham, releasing two monsters into the merchant district streets. 
Foo. It would do, and indeed it does do. But because we've hit the monster limit, they zoom off from the merchant district and run off into the outskirts. So in a way, that was fairly lucky that we got it now. One of those, uh, one of the minor good points about being at the monster limit. It means we may be, uh, we may be moving the terror track up soon because it's going to put them to three in the outskirts. But let's see the two monsters we've got. We've got a Mygo into the outskirts and a Dimensional Shambler into the outskirts. So we've now got three in the outskirts. But the terror track hasn't gone up and it wasn't as horrendous a Mythos phase as the last one was. So we can now discard this card. That is the end of the Mythos phase. Um, not a bad turn. In fact, getting the Elder Sign from the Curiosity Shop makes that a, a really good turn. Um, if we can get past those bloody things in the downtown streets, get Skids into Independent Square and into that gate, and Charlie's got five clues. If he can somehow get into the woods gate, um, that'd be good news. Oh, or perhaps one, two, three, four, five. He could get to the unnameable, or Skids could go to the unnameable. Obviously, again, good thing of being being at the monster limit. The monster that normally guard that went straight to the outskirts. So we may be in with a good chance of getting somebody into another world in order to shut a gate. Right, anyway, that's the end of turn 10. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for all the subscriptions and the views and the, and the comments. Um, I hope you join me next time for turn 11 of Arkham Horror Cool Air. See you next time. Toodaloo.